We're not actually in post 49 territory yet. So it's guaranteed to be to, it's guaranteed to be set three or set four trainers today on the first streak, but we'll probably go longer than that. Almost certainly set four. Looks like a picnicker. A bit concerned about Hippo. But it's okay, I can protect Heatran. Probably going to be protect and icy wind into. I guess I can explode because Gengar is slower than Latios. So just need to avoid a really bad tile and get poison. That's okay. This is Inga or Tonya. Tonya. See, I think there's a good chance that um, Hippo actually earthquakes Starmie here, which I want to encourage. Be fine, we survived that and it's a crit into the earthquake. The fact that we hit Starmie is very important. Because now he tran is faster than Starmie. I'm expecting Earthquake, because Earthquake will take out Heatran. Okay. So it'll be a single target explosion that goes into Hippowdon. The reason why this matters is because if Hippowdon survives, it gets to crunch Latios. Powdon probably does faint to this. It probably does faint to this explosion. I'm just a bit worried. Because obviously Ludicolo is not surviving this turn after being hit twice. What I could do is switch. The issue with that is that Hippowdon might crunch Ludicolo since it's so low in life. I don't think Hippowdon can ever Earthquake here. 
which means that it might be correct to just Icy Wind again. I could even go for a double protect on Heatran. But it's probably safer not to risk that at all. So we hit Starmie first. Starmie definitely faints. The question is how much damage this does to Hippo. And I think it's going to be extremely close. Okay, that's good. Ludicolo faints. And we one shot the Gengar. A jogger, which is set free. I'm pretty sure it's a jogger. No specific concerns about this match, really. Just need to avoid a bad square. I don't want to swap teams, that would be really bad. My timing is off today. Going for the skip match. This is extremely bad news if. I was gonna say if Latios is frozen, but I guess I probably can win if Latios is frozen. Yeah, the Heatran Latios combination is important here. It is Latios which is frozen. Which is probably the worst thing that could happen. <clears throat> I think I want to prevent Floatzel from doing anything. It's Hypno, which does far less damage. I'm probably going to have to flinch Floatzel. And then the following turn, protect on Hypno. Oh, sorry, protect on um, Heatran and then switch out to Latios. <sighs> it's probably better to get damage into Hypno than it is to try and get Floatzel down. Another option I could do is I could just protect and explode in turn one. I'm a bit worried about floats or um, critting Heatran though in that case. This is really tough about what to target. I feel like I should be going for the leech seed into floats or and I feel like I should be going for protect. But I probably can't afford to do that.
Not with Latios frozen. Probably too important to protect here. I think I have to protect. I think I have to earth power the floatsaw too. I might be able to get it from this range actually. I'm probably not in surf kill range from Floatzel. That's not good. That's really not good. I need to try and leech seed it. Even if Earth Power doesn't kill Hypno, it will be in um, icy wind range for sure. It's much better that they target Heat Run. I should faint that actually. It's in the red. I should definitely faint that, yeah. Guaranteed to go for heat round here. So I'm glad that I did cover the icy wind miss. One last chance to snap out of freeze. Okay, a collector. He is set free guaranteed, I think. Should be fairly straightforward, I just need to flinch the Arcanine so that I get the clean kill into Magnezone. Um, Tokus 3 in the back could be a problem. They can just explode. But I guess whether or not it is an Intimidate Arcanine would matter then. Collector Arnold. We'll check for Intimidate here. It is Intimidate, so Togus and Arcanine survive explosion.
it might have been better to earth power the Arcanine since Magnezone is so likely to use um, Magnet Rise and Thunder Wave here, but I don't really want to be paralyzed. And I like getting Togekiss in because it will take burn damage. I quite like double protect to be honest. Not too worried about Sunny Day being used. I definitely like Protect on Ludico. Let me think about Heatran. Because Heatran's not in any immediate danger. In fact, it's very difficult for them to take out Heatran at all. The fact that Latios is fast and Togekiss, I think, breaks that deadlock. That's. Oh, I thought I was going to say that was a crit. That did a lot. I could switch here. They're incredibly likely to go for Ludicolo. I think I'm actually going to go for a double protect. If I hit Earth Power, I win. With single target, even after Intimidate, the Explosion will kill it. Policeman is set free as well. Oh, it's, it's already taken a three. Um, hmm. Probably have to flinch Polyrath. I don't think I need any special help. The one thing I'd probably take note of is the fact that Latios maybe isn't guaranteed to Oko Polyrath free with Psychic. So it's mostly about saving Heatran for Tokus if possible, which is a switch on turn two. I don't need anything else in this match. Poison does help in bringing Tokus down a bit faster. There is no punishment for this. I suppose Tokus might air slash Heatran, it's possible. By far the best thing I can do is Icy Wind. I could also just double protect, but I like protect only on Heatran. Since it's almost certainly going to be targeted by Hydro Pump or Mod Bomb. If that flinches it's annoying, but I can go for the protect next turn. Togus will be Ice Beam range after that damage and after poison. Polyrath is definitely in Psychic range. I can definitely bring Latios in now. I think Focus Blast should be Polyrath's move here. It's 
much more likely to see the kill with that than it would be to see the kill with Hydro Pump. I think I can switch. Focus Blast might miss, that's why I chose to kill the Togekiss instead of the Polymath. Probably could have won that with the team swap choice actually. But the Latios would have been annoying. It's a guitarist, which is set free. Let me double check that actually, let me check the old PDF. Yeah, these are set free trainers. Not too worried about anything specific in this match. It's true that they're faster, and it's true that Alakazam Free can easily have inner focus. But the option to just flame for a frost slash on turn one is so strong. I guess the best thing I can do is paralyze them. I should Oko Hariyama free with Latios. It's only 18 IVs. Yeah, the best thing I can do is paralyze them. <sighs> Definitely correct to go for Icy Wind. I don't think Double Signal Beam would take out the Ecolo. Could confuse it though. Yeah, Ludicolo should be surviving this. As long as Icy Wind doesn't miss Alakazam, I win. We can just blow up. Icy Wind does miss. Well, I'm faster, and Alakazam is guaranteed to attack Ludicolo here. It's another guitarist. It's Fred and Chase, the two guitarists that can show up. not quick claw Machamp, which means it's not anywhere near as deadly as it normally is. I don't think Gardevoir will see a kill into Heatran with Focus Blast. Which means I'm not seeing any big problems here. Should be a fairly normal game.
I would rather flinch. Hmm, what would I rather flinch? I think I'd rather flinch Gardevoir. I could just blow up. Super certain that Latios would always Oko match out with Psychic, though, even at the IV deficit. I'm gonna flinch Jinx because I'm all worried about Blizzard Freeze. So I'll take out Jinx on this turn. Also, Heatran is fast in Gardevoir, which means I can just blow up next turn. Crit won't kill, so that's not a problem. Ace Trainer. No, it's not. It's probably a Dragon Tamer looking at that move set. What am I most scared of? It's cliche, but it probably is Agron 4, even without its Focus Sash on. Charizard 1 doesn't have its Patea Berry. <sighs> Against Miley Duo. It probably is just Charizard 4 then. Don't want to be flinched. What's the worst Garchomp? Probably is just Garchomp 4 again. The fact that I can just Ice Beam Garchomp makes it a non threat, even if it is Garchomp 1, I'm still fast, obviously. I can just Earth Power Agua. Probably going to be a flinch into Charizard. The issue is that if I take out Agron first, Charizard's going to cause Garchomp to Earthquake if it is Garchomp. One or four. But that's okay because Latios doesn't lose a 1v1 into Charizard. But if you actually need anything at all from this match. That's perfect. I think the best plan on turn one is still to take out Agron though. To immediately make it a 3v2. I don't like switching Ludicolo out though because of Outrage. If I can hit Icy Wind, that would be huge. I don't think I can tap anything at all from the damage into Charizard. I'll go for the Protect on Heatran, I think. Garchomp will reveal the set. That'll be faster next turn if Icy Wind does hit. It's Garchomp 1 or 4.
Probably not going to be able to tell from the damage. Move the heat is Charizard 2. Which is actually good news. Trying to outspeed them both now. See if we can get further than the last time. Last time we only got to 55. It's a clown. I don't think that tells me anything. Yeah, Frank and then Zoe could be any set. What am I most afraid of? And why is it Espeon 4? Espeon 3 could be nasty too. But it would be Espeon 4, which would be the worst. Signal being crit into Ludicolo would be nasty. And again, I think it is somewhat of a meme, but it is always set forward as the most deadly. I would probably be faking out the Espeon. And going for the flame for into the jinx though. The Dust Noir. It's definitely not Dust Noir 1 is the most deadly. That's definitely not it. Might be Dust Noir 3. Because Dust Noir 3 does run special defense EVs. That probably is the worst one. I'd actually quite like to paralyze these or something. Not too bad, really. I went for that. I went for that grouping, knowing that I could hit burn. Burn isn't too bad. It doesn't affect Heatran. That use mines slightly. I think I need to get Jinx off the field. I might have to explode on Espeon anyway, even though I'm burned. <sighs> See, before I was burned, I much rather would fake out the Espeon, because I valued Heatran much more. How much does that change with burn, though, knowing that Ludicolo is on a clock? Probably not too much. It's really important that I leech seed the Dust Noir, I think. I could just Icy Wind, but I'm worried about them doubling up into Ludicolo. We'll see what the Jinx set is. No, he won't, because it's slow. Interesting slow jinx. Might be jinx two. Jinx two would survive flamethrower. Looks like it is jinx two. Oh, that's miserable. Jinx two is definitely going to survive icy wind. I wonder if I have to. Uh, I wonder if I need to. Leech seed jinx. I think I might have to leech seed the Jinx. I need to take it out. It's not going to lovely kiss Ludicolo, because Ludicolo is already burned. 
probably is Dream Eater. Espion or Nether Shadow Ball. Heatran. I think I switch out Heatran. Charm. Okay. Espeon 2, how much does that change? Oh, I suppose it means that Latios is not in very much trouble at all. I quite like taking out Jinx of Latios. I can certainly leech seed the Espeon. Feels like the most productive thing to do. I don't want Jinx to perish on so I need to take it out. It might have been better not to take it out though. I'd much rather attack Latios. I think I'm probably bringing Latios out for Heatran as I leech seed Dust Noir. Whatever they use on Latios isn't going to hurt us. Isn't going to hurt Heatran very much. They both target. It's... Could be bad if they both targeted Ludicolo. That's Dust Noir too. I'm gonna have to switch then. Hey guys! <laughs> yeah, I did add the emotes. This is a complicated one. There's no way I, there's no way I can leave Ludicolo in. I'm going to be targeted by. Probably not in swift range, probably in psychic range though. Dust Noir doesn't have any attacks though. Latio should survive. I need Heatran to wake up. Oh, I burn myself. To be fair, it was I was kind of going for it. That's a crit. I might be in trouble if this is plain split. I think I fake out the Espeon. Espeon's probably in flamethrower range. It probably is better to take out 
Espeon. I'm a bit worried by the fact that Heatran is female. This could easily be a tract. The psychic critted Latios might have lost me the game. I need to take out Espeon though. Honestly, that isn't too bad. Ludicolo is still going to be in psychic range. Yeah, definitely in psychic range at 40. Please kill the Espeon. Okay, nice. It'll, le it'll lose if it uses Curse, I think. As long as I can prevent it from using Curse, I think I can win. I heal a lot less than I'm taking from burn. Thirty-two. What is Dust Noir? It's 120, isn't it? So I take 8 damage a turn, which means I'm dead in 2 turns with Ludicolo. It might be worth using Protect in case of Confuse Ray. On the other hand, I, the Icy Wind damage isn't too bad. It might matter. Flamethrower is going to encourage it to use Pain Split, but that's okay, I think. I should be at 24 life after this turn, which is exactly enough to not be dead. Yeah, because burn does 23 damage. Please hit, please hit. Just flamethrower it. This game should have been very, very easy. Okay, kill yourself. The, this game should have been incredibly easy. It should have just been Latios cleans up. I'd have to RNG another heat run to make it male. Actually, I'll probably have to RNG the Ludicolo. So I don't want heat run and Nachos to be the same gender. It's 
sign. The worst match is always the first one. That's when the boulette has had its worst. That's an ice trainer for sure. Um, I don't think I'm that scared of Glalie 4. It's probably Glalie 3, which is worse. Actually, there's Glalie 1. Glalie's problem is the inner focus. I can't flinch it. It probably is Jinx 4. Uh, the worst Lapras would be Lapras 1. Actually, Lapras 3 behaves randomly. That would be annoying. So I'd be faking out the Jinx and flamethrowing the Glalie. And I have to hope that if it is one of the bulkier Glalie sets, like Glalie 3, that I get the flamethrower roll. So, mm. It is Glalie 4, which is the worst, isn't it? Best thing I can do is... Okay, wasn't going for that, but that's okay. What if I just explode though? I guess Lapras 2 could beat Latios and Ludico in the 1v1. Hmm. 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 This is a roll. Okay, it's not a roll if it crits. We did a lot with Fake Out. I don't think that's Jinx 2. I definitely think exploding is the right course of action here though. So it was probably Jinx 1. To take, to take so much damage from Fake Out, but be slower than Heatran, must be Jinx 1. For Lapras to faint, it probably was Lapras 3 or 4. Dragon Tamer, almost certainly. Oh, what's the worst Charizard? It's not Charizard 2. I guess Charizard 3 would be annoying with Sediments in the back. What's the worst Arcanine? Would be, probably is Arcanine 3, actually. Don't really want Sunny Day to go up. And then Selimens. Probably Selimens 2 would be the worst. Since all the others just easily die to Latios.
I can make this match really easy by paralyzing them. It's going for the hail. It's going for those two hail squares. Okay, well now I'm exceptionally scared of Latios. Ludicolo is almost certainly going to fake out and then Icy win next turn. What am I using? Okay, I intimidated, that's good. That means that I'm not fainting to explosion at least. So scared of Latios. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. I'm gonna have to bring Salamence in, I think. Because I think Arcanine can take out Latios with Crunch Extreme Speed. Ludicolo is going to be using Fake Out this turn, but I can't know which one it's gonna go for. Salamence is useless against. Latios. Actually, the best thing that could happen on this turn would be explosion. Fake out an explosion. This is a speed tie, isn't it? Yeah. I need to take out Heatran for sure. resist switch because of the earthquake. Well, I didn't Draco Meteor. I really used Draco Meteor because it was 90% accurate, not because not because I thought Latios would be coming in, but I guess that works. Okay, sh it should be really easy to win now, actually. fine. I mean, if I had Hydro Pump that Latios, I would have just switched out the following turn. Thelemans yeah, shouldn't take too much here. I am slower than everything. It's a bit annoying. I've got a 52 life. That might be flamethrower range.
Thing is, I don't really want to switch because I don't want to earthquake my own um, Arcanine. And it is quite important that I earthquake this Heatran at some point. Ludicolo is going to be using Icy Wind. Guaranteed, I think. Please survive. Your 31 IV settlements, you should survive this. Hit Charizard first. Okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I just need to take out Heatran. Is that crunch range on Heatran? Don't completely trust it. I'm gonna Thunder Fang. Arcanine should survive Explosion from Heatran. So even if I miss this Thunder Fang, I should win. Nice. Okay, it's, it's over. A PI. Okay. Just fake out the Rapidash, right? And that's easy. It's really weird. Luckily, the AI is not very, it hasn't got any special protect explosion strategies built into it. Yeah, so this, this team stop. The only thing to be scared, I am scared of Latios. I don't want to give. The opponent's Latios too much. And to be honest, that was a pretty good team for team swap from the opponent. Just considering what I could do is double protect. So I'm half expecting an earthquake from Steelix. But that achieves the same thing as Fake Out and Flamefarer anyway. I'm in trouble if Rapidash Horn Drills Heatran. If Horn Drill hits Heatran, I definitely want to Leech Seed the Rapidash so I can take it out the following turn. I'm not sure I'll be able to take it out though. 
Oh, no, it's fine. I can Leech Seed and then Double Protect and then Psychic the Rapidash. That should take it out. And if I don't get taken out by... Warn Drill, I definitely want to take out the Macrozone. Yeah, if Sturdy, if Sturdy was Pseudo Sash, it would definitely be um, a level 1 Sturdy Mon as the King of Doubles. the roulette very well this round yet. Um, I'd say Espeon 4. Vaporeon 3 probably because of the muddy water accuracy drop. Probably Glaceon 3 as well because of Blizzard freeze. And Spread Blizzard would take out Latios. difficult because I would normally want to explode on this opener um, but I think I need to fake out the Vaporeon I'm wondering now if Flamethrower and Ice Beam would take out Espeon 4 probably would I'm not sure if I can feel I'm not sure if I can afford to leave Heatran in though It might have to be Leech Seed onto Vaporeon and switch on turn one. Oh. The nice thing about Aaron is that it does run sturdy. I think I just need to go for a regular match here. Paralysis is pretty good though. It probably only matters for Espeon. I can definitely blow up on turn one. If I don't miss Leech Seed on turn two, I would always beat Glaceon. Glaceon 3 would never hail against Latios, so it would always go for the Blizzard. Problem is, a single target Blizzard does do a lot to Ludicolo. I think it might be correct to Leech Seed. Basically, I just need to keep Heatran alive until Vaporeon's not there anymore. I'm risking a blizzard by doing this, but Latio should survive Psychic and Blizzard. That's probably modest damage. And that's Vaporeon 3. The 
thing about Aaron is that it won't cause as much re randomness with OK Moo since it has sturdy. So you would just go for you would just go for the endeavor on turn one and risk losing it. I'm expecting Blizzard. If Ludicolo faints here, it might actually be a good thing. That is definitely, definitely Espeon 4. I wonder if I switch back here. Definitely switch Heatran into Ludicolo. Yeah, Aaron wouldn't be perfect. It would be really, really good in arcade though. To be able to run Gen 5 Sturdy. But I might lose Latios this turn. Don't freeze each round, it should be fine. It's not actually too bad. If I take out Vaporeon here, I'm not sure how I could lose. I kind of want Natios to be gone. Oh yeah, I forgot that Subway didn't let you use level 1s for some reason. Just take out the Glaceon, I think. I'm a little bit nervous to explode. It's possible that Glaceon could survive explosion, I think. possible to lose this anymore. So this is um, Mirandor Helen. It's a 21 IV trainer. And they're set fours.
I think I just risk the static on turn one of Ampharos. Should be fine. I can then blow up on turn two. Miltank probably does survive the explosion, but Milktank can't beat Latios. With Ampharos and Sleep, I guess I don't need to do that though. Is Miltank always going to Earthquake here? I'm not sure. Information on sets. Tell you what, though, Toxicrate Two might be worse than Toxicrate Four. I probably want to instantly kill both of them. Ogus, it probably is just Ogus Four because of Serene Grace. Worse Breedum. All kind of easy to be honest. I guess it would be feeling for a spore. I don't need anything here, I just need to be able to. Actually, I do need something. I don't think I can. Ex I can't freely explode on turn one, can I? Fastest Togekiss. Is Togekiss 4, isn't it? Togekiss 3 and 4 are the fastest, and they're slower than Toxicroak. So, Explosion is always guaranteed to hit Toxicroak first. Heat Tran is fast and Toxic Croak. So I just. I just protect Explode. It's fine. It's not dangerous at all. It's very close to being very, very dangerous. It's not close enough. If I can be at a higher level, it's even easier. I'm so glad that no Togekiss and no Toxicroak sets can run a speed boosting nature. Do one more round, I think.
I'm really worried about the roulette. The team works, it's just the roulette that is annoying me. And it's always the first two games which are the hardest. That's not a pleasant team to see appear, but at least there's no damp. King of King of Four must be the worst. Because I can't oko it with explosion, and King of Four can oko me with hydro pump. Bull rain four would be pretty bad in the back two. Bull rain. It's actually not bull rain. Um, No, it's not Wolverine 3 is the worst, it's Wolverine 2 might be worse than Wolverine 4. But at least with Wolverine 2, I would win with Ludicolo. I might have to switch out Heatran on turn 1. Are any of these faster than me? Ever. Any of these ever fast and um, he tran because the dragon dance set doesn't run speed. Oh, but this Kingdra 2 isn't there. Kingdra 1 and Kingdra 2 are both timid and they're faster, but they can't oko he tran. Quite a dangerous match, actually. It's one of the safer ones. It matters slightly that Latios is at 80. It means that I'm going to always faint to Raw Rain 4's Ice Beam. I was already always fainting to Raw Rain 2's Avalanche, though. So if it's a fast Kingdra set, it would faint to Explosion. If it's not a fast Kingdra set, it would survive Explosion. Let me think about this, there's Lapras 1. I'm probably in range of Lapras 1's. Aquatail, aren't I? Perhaps. Maybe it was a bad idea to go for that square. I'm safe from Lapras 3, it's Lapras 1 I'm concerned about. So if it's Kingdra 4, I'd definitely want to fake out that, and I'd want to fake out Lapras 1. Kingdra 4 is a lot more likely to kill Heatran than Lapras 1 is, though. I might be able to tell if it's Kingdra three or four from the damage on fake out. I think I need to keep flame for the lap press though. The crit is actually really annoying. It's gonna interfere with my ability to read the HP damage.
That's that press one. Please don't kill Heatran. I think Ludicolo is going to have to carry this. By Leech, Lapras, and Fun Bullet next turn is probably enough. Kingdra 3 will outrage here. Kingdra 4 is going to Draco Meteor. I might have to have Latios double protect. Ideally, I guess, it's Kingdra 2. Ludicolo might be able to 1v3 this, though. That's Kingdra 4. Lapras 1 goes for the curse. Actually, am I an Ice Shard range? 1, 2, 5. I'm probably not in Ice Shard range after Curse. It's probably quite close though. Um, I do need to Thunderbolt the Lapras. After Kingdra um, gets the special attack drop from Draco Meteor. It's not actually too much of a threat to Ludicolo. It, Wool Rain 3 would be really bad. The best case scenario is that Drake, Drake Meteor misses still though. I think as long as it's not Wolverine Rain 3, I think I can win with Ludicolo. Oh, that's that's bad. That's really bad. That's going to be Avalanche, isn't it? Avalanche is going to do like half. No, it's going to do more than half to Ludicolo. It's a plus one. It's going to do like 90%. Oh, please say it's cursed. Maybe it's cursed again. No, oh, shit. This might KO. Oh, no, no, no. Interesting. So because Ludicolo didn't do the damage, it was Latios that does the damage, it didn't get doubled. Okay. Not quite over yet, then. Kingdra's at minus two. I need to think about whether or not I use Protect this turn, or whether or not I try and immediately um, Leech Seed it. I definitely want to Leech Seed Wool Rain 2. Wool Rain 1 and 4 I would want to Protect, and Wool Rain 3 I would want to Protect too. I can't, I can't even win against Wool Rain 3 to be honest, it's just over. Actually, it can't be Wool Rain 4, can it? It's got leftovers. So it's Wool Rain 2, 1, or 3. The best case scenario is definitely that it's Wool Rain 1. And in that case, I'd want to Leech Seed it. I shouldn't do very much. Wolverine 2. I 
get it attacked. So what's good about this is that they're both going to attack again, I think. Well, Kingdra has to attack. It's quite bad that Kingdra used Signal Beam instead of Draco. Wall Rain might use Curse. Problem is, I'm not sure how I win without just staying on Protect. Hydro Pump. Curse is really bad for me. I can't attack Avalanche or KO. I don't think I'm in crunch range at least. I'm not in crunch range. I think I've just got to stay and protect. There's no way that attacking is worthwhile. Double curse. I think it's over. I think this was over the moment that Lapras crit Etran, I think. That day. It's going to be very difficult to recover. Wall Rain 2 would have been a nightmare to face with Latios, though. It wasn't correct to fake out Explode and turn on at least. I definitely can't attack. It's really bad that Kingdra's not using Draco. That's gonna do a lot. All Rain 2 probably guaranteed to Avalanche or Crunch. I'm gonna have to get a double protect off. What's really bad about this is I'm in even more trouble when Kingdra faints. One, three, two. I might be outside of crunch range with that. Avalanche is probably a roll to kill. Okay, I did get a double at least. I don't like attacking because I have to hit Wall Rain and a boosted Avalanche will always Oko. So I think I just stay and protect. The extra damage that is done is negligible. Wolverine's HP is 217, so on the final turn it will have 1 HP left. I think I can actually win. It would be better if this Protect went off though. Okay. Draco is bad though. Draco is really bad. The extra damage. I'm probably in Avalanche range. Interesting, it used Curse again. I think I win. But 158. So I'll be in crunch range, but I get a guaranteed protect here. I'm pretty sure that's 1 HP. Because I leech seeded it. I don't think I ever did any other damage, did I?
Is it safer to just protect though? Surely I'm outside of avalanche range. It'll only, it'll only KO if I attack. That doesn't look like 1 HP to me, that's a problem. for protect I think. I can't believe I won this. What a god. <laughs> what a god Ludicolo is. <laughs> can't believe I won that. <laughs> I used up a lot of luck there. <laughs> it's a lot of the good luck gone. <laughs> I think it's a waiter. We'll find out. Um, probably want to take out Bronzong. It might be quite difficult to take out Bronzong though. the bronze on. Sander. It feels wrong to fake out. I think it must be correct though. I want to discover if this is Maybe I shouldn't have flamed through it, actually. I want to discover what the bronzing ability is, though. If it's heatproof, it will do less than half. If it's not heatproof, it's going to do more than half. That's definitely not heatproof. I think it's correct to reset. Although Purifus does so little damage to Heatran that I'm not sure that's even worth it. Set free trainer, I think, guaranteed. In fact, I know who this is. This is Sammy. Parasol Lady Sammy. Um, to be honest, I can do almost anything here. As long as I don't. Give Lapras a free turn. That was dangerously close to swap. So I flinch Lapras, take out Leafy on. Then I blow up. Because Flareon is fast and Lapras 
Just a single target explosion hitting the lap press, which should be a win. So start at idle. What's the worst? Infernic. It probably is Infernic 1. Interfering with its move. Typhlosion 4. And then which is the worst? Empoleon. Because its teammates are both fire types, it probably is Empoleon. Probably is Empoleon 4. I guess Empoleon 3 would be a problem for Latios though. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do against Inferno, but it would be very nice to paralyze it. I guess Latios can deal with it. The best thing I can do here is skip for sure. That's not what I was going for at all. That's a disaster. The Fennip's faster than that is now, obviously. I think I have to try and take out Infernape immediately. If Ludicolo gets fully paralysed, that is a disaster. I can't blow up though. That's so bad, please don't be close combat. Please survive. Focus Blast, miss. It's Typhlosion 2. Don't know how I win this. Is Infernape guaranteed to U-turn? No, it's not. It might close combat. Am I in close combat range, actually? 115, I probably am. I need them both to target Ludicolo here. Oh, I'm definitely not winning. I got fully paralysed again. Please survive. But 115, a low roll probably does survive. That's not a low roll. This is so cursed. Yeah, well done. Crit 2. I'm starting to hate this facility. Why was I so good at roulette when I was using the other team? Is it really pressure? I, f I feel like it was just luck. 